Good evening and welcome to LSJ News. I'm Grace Thompson with your latest stories in Lincoln. With the general election just over a month away, the City of Lincoln Council have announced the location of the count. Usually the count is held at the Lincoln Drill Hall, which isn't possible this year due to a clash with this year's pantomime. Instead, the December 12th vote count will be held at Yarborough Leisure Centre on Rise Home Road. Red and yellow flood warnings have been issued across Lincolnshire today due to the vast amount of rainfall over the last week. Trains in and out of Lincoln have been delayed or cancelled over the last two days, affecting some commuters attempting to use the train services. The city has seen several road and footpath closures throughout the day, with the flooding on Brayford Waterfront and Brayford Wharf East. Health services across Lincolnshire have been working towards making a treatment accessible for dermatology patients. GPs hope to achieve this through establishing a non-emergency service which will run community dermatology clinics held every two weeks. The service aims to ensure the clinic will provide the community with rapid and efficient diagnosis for the patients in need of treatment. And now for your LSJ Sport weekend preview with Kira Best. Thanks Grace. Lincoln City travelled to Ipswich Town tomorrow for the first round of the FA Cup. The last time the Ips faced Ipswich in this competition was in 2017 in a third round replay where Lincoln came away victorious with a 1-0 win. Around 1,000 fans will make the trip to Portman Road with Imps manager Michael Appleton's team, the underdogs going into the match. It's a great opportunity to you know, switch off from the league for, for one week and um, you know, go to a club that's probably expected to get you know, promoted from our division. Um, I suppose they are the highest ranked team in the, in the competition as it stands at this moment in time. Big club, big ground, good fan base. Uh, good team. Um, sounds like a great time for an upset. The team have been struggling with their form recently, having to go back to the basics before tomorrow's fixture. Obviously, it hasn't been happening for us recently, but everyone knows, everyone can see that we've been playing well. We're starting to play the way he wants us to play as well. But we just need to um, get, always get back to the basics because obviously, 1 0 lead is never enough. I think we took our foot off the gas a little bit towards the end. And in non-league football, Lincoln United take on Ilkston Town at Ashby Avenue tomorrow. The Whites have not played since October 19th with their last two matches being postponed. United are currently 11th place with Ilkston sitting third from top with three wins in their last five games. And finally, Lincoln City women are in action on Sunday afternoon. The Imps travel to Leek Town hoping to carry on their FA Cup run. The game follows a 4-0 victory over Sporting Calsa last Sunday. And now for your weather. Today it has been dry but chilly with temperatures peaking around 7 degrees. Tonight will continue to be cold and clear with the possibility of one or two fog patches. The minimum temperature may drop to minus 1 degrees and widespread frost is expected. And tomorrow it's likely to be sunny yet cold with patchy clouds expected to develop throughout the day and a maximum temperature of 6 degrees. And finally, could you be the host of a new rehoming site for hens? The British Hen Welfare Trust are appealing for somewhere in Lincolnshire to be the home of their new site to help save lives of hundreds of hens each year. People of Lincolnshire have helped find homes for over 18,000 hens who were destined for slaughter and it's hoped that a new location will hold up to 500 hens in a barn or stable. And that's all for now. Don't forget you can keep up to date with us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at LSJ Tweets or you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at LSJ News TV. We'll see you on Monday. Bye for now.